Hey everybody, Zachary again here. So on the suggestion of a couple comments from previous videos, I wanted to add a couple additional videos. And this one is going to be about the career advancement opportunities post Yanqing and what people's career paths have been thus far. Obviously, we've only been in existence, both Schwartzman and Yanqing have only been in existence for two and three years respectively. So there's not been a lot of time, ellipsed time, to see how people's career trajectories have gone thus far. But I can give you a quick overview from what we've seen from the past two cohorts, both Yanqing and Schwartzman scholars. So as stated in previous videos, Yanqing is certainly more about academics than it is about career advancement. The classes are certainly tailored, more tailored toward erudition, towards gaining greater knowledge about China, oftentimes subjects that are rel relatively esoteric. So for example, I took a class on Chinese literature and poetry, and a lot of other people took classes on, say, obscure Chinese philosophy. That's definitely a good thing, but it also has its downsides. And the downside is that the career advancement opportunities in Yanqing relative to other major scholarship programs are, at least for the two years that I was there, probably not as good as, say, Schwartzman or Rhodes or Marshall. So I know, for example, by comparison, a couple friends who, or a friend who was at uh, Rhodes said that almost everybody was offered opportunities to go into McKinsey or Google or other top companies almost by virtue simply of being a Rhodes Scholar or a Marshall Scholar. At Schwartzman, they have a career advancement department that is solely devoted to finding people really prestigious or high-level jobs and just filtering them directly into those jobs. From what I could tell from my friends who are at Schwartzman was that it was very, very easy for everybody to get first an externship in their first year, their only year at Schwartzman, and then immediately be funneled into a really great job. By contrast, Yenqing's department, Yenqing's career advancement department while I was there, was really not so great, frankly. There were a couple people there, and while they were caring people, they didn't really have a lot of connections outside of the Beijing area, and they would mostly provide you with advice, a series of you know, suggestions about where you could look for work, but it was almost entirely up to you to find work and to find work as effectively as, or as quickly as you could on your own. That said, a lot of people at Yanqing had already secured job opportunities, and got into Yanqing, I think in part as a virtue of having secured those job opportunities and those job opportunities being really prestigious. So some people had work at Goldman Sachs, other people had work in McKinsey, other people had secured work in major technology corporations such as Google or Y Combinator. But it was ultimately up to them to try to figure out how they would advance their careers. So all this said, I think it's not to fear. There are a number of opportunities to make money around Beijing, either as if not only as an English teacher, in either during your time at Yenching or after your time at Yenching, where you can get a fairly high salary. But if you're looking for sort of a career advancement opportunity, you're not going to find that at Yenching to the same degree as you will at other top scholarship programs, if we're being very honest. Now this said, they I know they were building up the career department, the career services department substantially during their time at Yenching. Um, they were adding staff, and I assume those staff will have a greater degree of connections. This said, those connections tend to be specific to Chinese corporations. So if you're interested in getting an internship at Huawei, that might be a distinct possibility. And the Beida name, the Peking University name, will certainly take you far. If you're interested in international jobs or American-based jobs, Yenqing, my expectation is at least, that Yenqing, even with more staff, will still not necessarily have the connections that Schwartzman or other major international scholarship programs will have. So... By contrast, if we look at short, uh, some jobs that Schwartzman scholars got, one of them I know was working for Colin Powell afterwards, and a couple of them were working for top fashion companies and other major brands like McKinsey. Um, I think a couple people worked on Exxon, a couple of people worked for Goldman Sachs. But regardless, their career department is certainly more plugged in, and Steve Schwartzman, their, their CEO or the leader of Schwartzman Scholars program, has leveraged a lot of his connections to get people job opportunities.